welcome to Money Machine. Today I'm going to be talking about crypto P2P arbitrage. And first thing I'm going to say is that if you have knowledge of any part or session of this video, you can skip it and go to the next part. I'm not trying to make you watch this video from the beginning to the end. But if you are a beginner and you know nothing about crypto P2P arbitrage or the strategies used, Please watch this video from the beginning to the end. This course is worth more than a thousand dollars, I can tell you. All right, let's go. My name is Oriol Ajumon. Let's get started. So, what we're going to start with first of all is to define the three terms. The three terms what is cryptocurrency, what is P2P, and what is arbitrage. Okay, now in very good definition and very plain definition, simple definitions, we start with cryptocurrency cryptocurrencies are digital assets that are used on a ledger called blockchain and then they use smart contracts to do their transactions to affect their transactions so like i said cryptocurrencies are not digital currencies but are digital assets so just like you have a barrel of oil which is a physical asset that you buy or a house and if you buy a house for 20 dollars and maybe that area becomes less uh, less uh developed and then the price goes down so you can sell it for ten dollars so the same thing is applicable with cryptocurrencies that you have it at fifty dollars today and the next few weeks it comes to thirty dollars so they are digital assets they are not digital currency because you don't use them to buy anything except for a, a servado that has used bitcoin as a legal tender meaning that in a Savaldo Bitcoin is also a currency, but in other places, I would prefer to call cryptocurrencies as digital assets and not digital currencies. All right, let's proceed to um, P2P. P2P is a peer-to-peer -peer, um, platform, a peer-to-peer -peer platform that uses escrow services using um, a mediator or intermediary to function. So most times they do not need the intermediary to intervene because of the system that are put in place but sometimes they do need an intermediary to or a mediator to come into place for instance uh you go to binance you want to buy uh usdt with 50 dollars which we're going to be talking about today and then you go you see the price that you pay and then the other guy on the other hand had the 50 dollar before he can accept your transaction and when he accepts your transaction the 50 dollars is frozen in his account until um, he either confirms the transaction or it is confirmed that you did not send the money. When you claim you send the money and then he claims he has not sent the money, they will have to go into investigations to check your account and his account to confirm the transaction. If the, confirm, the transaction is confirmed, the money leaves his frozen account to your account. And that is how it is done on the P2P network. So they use escrow service so someone stands at the guy and says, intermediary between these two guys and he doesn't have anything to do than just to help these two guys hold their money and make sure everything is effective all right then the next part of it is arbitrage a lot of person talk about arbitrage arbitrage and they do not know what the term is arbitrage so the arbitrage is buying from a particular market crypto market and selling on another crypto market now this is somehow very interesting because people claim they have they make a lot of money from crypto arbitrage yeah if we say crypto arbitrage and five and eight nine years ago i believe you will make more money from crypto arbitrage compared to now and now as much as this is becoming popular people make more make money from it though but it's not like a very big amount of money so let me talk about crypto arbitrage crypto arbitrage is where you go to binance and then you see something at a cheaper price and then you find out that it is uh it is of a lesser price and maybe get io or kucoin or any of these other platforms and then you go there to you know you go there to sell them okay and then you bring it back to binance and withdraw your money as cash so that's how simple it is to run and people use litecoin as um, one of the best coin to trade using crypto arbitrage and the reason why they use litecoin is the fact that litecoin has a lower fees for sending and doing its transactions i believe we got that to a very good extent so advantage of crypto crypto p2p the first advantage is reduced fees for instance you want to buy cryptocurrency with your card like 
using your card to buy cryptocurrencies there are places you have to pay three percent maybe you're buying cryptocurrency of three hundred dollars you get a bit nine dollars to be able to get that cryptocurrency and then at the end what enters your crypto wallet is 291 dollars and the same thing applies to when you're withdrawing they take fees but when you're using p2p you buy directly without fees you just go straight to the point you go buy and then you pay the person who is buying and then you get it out and then for us who i'm going to be mentioned because i'm talking about making money from p2p crypto you are going to be a maker not just a taker sometimes you'd be a taker on beginners and sometimes most of the time you must be a maker to make so much money from cryptocurrency from crypto p2p so if you are a maker you will charge 0.35 percent to make um to create your ads and because you're creating an ad and then you're paying 3.5 percent if you are a verified merchant you are paying 20 percent uh 0.2 percent 0.2 percent so by so doing you reduce your fees and then you're making more money and i'm going to be talking about making more money as a verified merchant in the next video so you reduce your fees instead of three percent you print 0.35 percent and you have the ability or the capacity to also add that fees to your calculation to make sure that the the price you are putting it in on your business for buying or selling covers the fees and the less the second thing i'm going to talk about is less monitoring compared to when you use your card to buy btc or bitcoin or cryptocurrency where they have the details of your card they ask you for the billing address they ask you for details on the account and they can trace where you're coming from where you're going unlike that when you use the p2p you just go straight to you know somebody you send it to somebody else where who you don't know the person you've never met this person probably never met this person before i've never seen this person before the person releases the btc or the cryptocurrency to you after receiving your money so it is less monetary nobody can monitor your account using the crypto p2p and then the third thing is low risk low risk um unlike other cryptocurrency trading like the futures the marginal call the spots the the DeFi, the um, the shitcoin, the, all of those kind of trading where you go to Pancake Swap and you're doing some of this trading. Crypto P2P has the lowest risk. I mean the lowest risk. And why is that the lowest risk? Because you trade every day. Your money goes in circulation. You don't need to wait for a particular point. You are not putting your money in a bag and say, okay, I'm going to be waiting to two months, three months, four months, one year to get profit from this cryptocurrency. Yeah, just like for instance, BTC. BTC was about $70 2021 and from 2021 to 2024, it has not gotten back to $69,000 or $70, $70,000 where it was. So if you're trading cryptocurrency spots, I bet you would have been at loss and almost trying when you get to $14,000 or $15,000 sometimes ago or fifteen thousand dollars sometimes ago so yes p2p p2p has less risk you have no risk because your money keeps going in and coming out in minutes and sec in minutes hours not even up to day now another thing is daily profit daily profit compared to like i said it is low risk and yet you get daily profit all you need to do is to do some calculations and i'm going to talk about some tricks in the next um in this in the next section in some few sessions i'm going to talk about tricks so daily profit you make profit daily as long as you come to the market to come and trade you're definitely going to make profit on a daily basis that flexibility compared to your day-to-day -day activities and you go to a 95 job crypto p2p allows you the flexibility to work at your own pace work at home work at school work at anywhere for instance you have calculated very well accurately and you have placed your ad strategically along in the morning when you wake up you may just keep your notifications up as soon as transactions are, are coming in you just quickly accept them check your balances and do all those transactions throughout the day and then it's just it's just fl very flexible for you to you know control another thing that last but not the least but very very important is that the crypto p2p gives you peace of mind yeah yeah peace of mind peace of mind compared to every other area of cryptocurrency trading yes 
Have you ever traded futures before and then you were putting an amount of money that maybe 50% of what you have or even 100% of all you have and then you might be in a meeting, you're distracted because of it, you're checking it, it's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's, uh, it's going down and all of that, you lacking rest, you lacking peace because you don't know what's going to happen next. But in P2P, you don't need to worry for what is going to happen next that much. You just need to be patient with the market, keep trading, keep making your money. Yeah, and that is how it works. So those are the few advantages I have listed. That there are many more advantages of trading crypto P, uh, P2P crypto. The fact that it's decentralized. There are several other reasons, but these are my top six reasons. And let's move on. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is tools. Tools for crypto P2P trading. A lot of persons I go online and I watch videos. Four minutes videos, five minutes video telling you how to trade cryptocurrency uh, P2P. And I'm like wondering how can you trade cryptocurrency, P2P cryptocurrency in four minutes and that is all and you want to go into the market. Boom. No, 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 no. You're not going to make money that way. You're going to cry that way. Okay. You know, the first letter of crypto is what? Cry. You know, you're going to cry that way. If you don't sit down to understand the market, sit down to understand what you're doing, you're going to cry. So let's start. Now, there are various tools that you need. The first one is money. Money. You know, the scripture says money answers right all things. Okay. So there are two reasons you need money when trading crypto P2P. One of the reasons is capital. You need enough capital to trade P2P. And I'm going to be talking about two 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 platforms i'm going to talk about airtime i'm going to talk about binance in this video now you need money for capital in binance you need about i mean to trade conveniently you need about five thousand to ten thousand dollars and on airtime you need about two thousand dollars to trade conveniently on airtime have i answered your questions good that's the first reason because if you don't have capital you cannot make more money more money brings more money have you ever tried to start a business before and then you're trying to start the business and then you find that you do not have enough capital okay and then you find out that if you use the capital you're having you're going to be having lesser return but if you have more capital you're going to have better returns and that is how it is even in the crypto crypto p2p and ten thousand dollars as i mentioned doesn't mean that's the limit. You can even have up to hundred, two hundred thousand dollars trading on your P2P platform, and then you can be able to trade. Now, the last, the second thing about money, what you need money for is to buy, um, to get yourself verified. On Binance, you need about one thousand dollars that will be placed on hold. BUSD, Binance USD, that will be placed on hold, that will be held down and frozen on your account, so that you can be verified, and you need identity your address verification to get verified and when you you get this done you have the verified merchant uh tick on your account and this make people trust you very well this will make people trust you and want to trade with you knowing that okay this guy is trusted he had verified his account he's not going to scam me he's not going to try to run away with my money yeah so that's one of the reasons why you have to you know make money and just in case if you're trading with a hundred dollar or two hundred dollars and you have a report on your account and the whole two hundred dollars is frozen what are you going to do you're going to stop trading and the other guy is not cooperating for two three days that's going to give you a lot of issues but if you have five thousand dollars if one thousand dollars is ahead of frozen you continue trading that's how you hit the that's how you make the the, the money you get it that's how you hit the points that's how you keep getting the points and keep getting the money so you need a lot of money to make more money. And then the next thing I'm going to talk about is time, okay? A lot of guys, you need to create time. You need to create time. As I said, I'm going to be talking about tricks on Binance, tricks people don't know, tricks people have not seen before. I'm going to be talking about it on Binance in the, when I'm going to be talking about Binance platform. So here we go. So you need a lot of, you need time. You need time to set out, strategize, set out, what you want to be doing at a particular time and how you want to be making your money if sometimes you need to sit down with the system as transitions are coming you keep accepting answering converting and doing all of that to make sure you are able to make that money meet 
All right, then the second, the third thing is identification. Okay, identification, either define yourself a major platform, even if you want to travel out of your country, you know you need an international passport to be able to travel out, okay? People need to identify who you are to be able to trust you, to be able to put their trust in you, to be able to give you attention and all of that. So even in crypto P2P trading, you need identification to allow you to reach a particular goal or place. So like I said, you can be a verified merchant without checking out your address, verifying your address so that they can trace you down to where you live, okay, in case that's going to be a problem. But nevertheless, I've not seen anyone that have been traced down to his address before. So let's press on. In identification, you need ID cards, passports to verify your account. At a point in Nigeria, they were not accepting the NIN and uh, because it was a sleep, my government were giving us sleep instead of identity card. And so we're not being able to verify on Binance. And some of us took the opportunity to do crypto arbitrage at that moment because a lot of persons could not withdraw from Binance. And if you had a way of withdrawing from Binance, you are at the top of your game. So identification is very important. Here comes um, the difference saying, now, if you have identification in two different countries, use the one that gives you the best opportunity. For instance, I'm in Nigeria. If I'm living in the United Kingdom, I will not verify my Binance account with a Nigeria international passport or a Nigeria identity card. I would prefer using a UK identification identity card or a US identity card if I'm staying in the US. Because if I use my Nigeria address, it's going to limit my account. I will not be able to trade in certain currencies that are available for the United States and the United Kingdom. So if you have two addresses, uh, two identification, please, please, identity card, please don't use the one that is less privileged. Use the one that is, you know, highly privileged. All right. Payment methods or payment accounts. Now, get this straight. A lot of persons come along and then they use payment methods. You need payment method. For us, Nigeria is our local bank transfer. We use Nigeria. But in crypto space, because of the decentralized form that it takes, you can use other payment methods. You can use other payment methods. So payment methods like Scream, payment method like Netella, payment method like PayPal can be used. So if you want to make more money, you can't create other payment accounts using your data. And I want to say this. Um, do not use payment methods that are not yours. I think there's a trick about it. People can do that on Binance, but do not do it. It's not. It's not. It's not going to end well sometimes, because um, you might mix some things and you lost your fund. So do not do it that way. And then, um, fourthly, crypto platforms. Am I doing payment method? The more payment method you have, the more money you have. Now let's go to crypto platforms. Crypto platforms, you need to understand the crypto platforms you are using, the crypto P2P platform you are using before trading with them. So if you're using Binance, understand the terms and conditions so that you don't break the terms and conditions by mistake or by error. And if you break the terms and conditions, sometimes you get your account frozen, sometimes you get a lot of issues come along. So please do not break terms and conditions. Study it very well and make sure you understand it. And then lastly, you need laptops and phones. A lot of persons, you go to work, you know, you want to use Google Word, you don't have the same interface as you have on your phone, on your system, when you're using a PC. So it is advisable to get a PC so that you can see some of the things you cannot see on your phone. And it is true, very, very true. You need to have a PC to be able to monitor some things, to be able to see some things, to be able to do some things, and therefore you will make more, 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 more money. I believe I've been able to share with you some of the very, 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 very important things. Okay. So those are the tools. Well, the first thing I said is money. Second time, third identification, fourth payment method, then cryptocurrency platform. Understand the platform. Don't break the terms and conditions. Read the terms and conditions of such payment platforms or accounts. Read the terms and conditions of screen. Read the terms and conditions of WISE. Read the terms and conditions so that one day you don't wake up and all your phones are in that account and it is blocked and you cannot withdraw and they are telling you 
this what next to you. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to talk about is rules of transactions. Rules of transaction. In this case, I'm going to be defining what escrow service is. What escrow service is has been defined in the first time when I said about when I was talking about P2P. But for clarity, I'm going to talk about it again. So escrow service is one guy one guy or a, one guy trying to get um, a book and he doesn't trust the other party, but he trusts this guy who is an intermediary. And so he he gives this guy his money, the intermediary his money. No. He asks the intermediary to get the book first, and the guy gets the book first, and the intermediary is holding the book while he gives the money to the other guy. And the other guy tells the intermediary that I've gotten the money, and then the intermediary release the money to the release the book to the other guy. So that's how it works. That's what SQL service does. It's on a trust, it's on a trust premise. So we trust this guy in the middle. We do not trust the other party. We don't even have to deal with the other party, but we trust this guy in the middle and we know he's going to deliver well. So that is the basis of the transaction. Now, avoid fraudulent activities. There were a lot of times fraudulent activities were raised in Binance P2P. One of the activities was, for instance, um, people charging extra, you know, I'm going to deduct 100 naira for charges. No, it happened in Nigeria, but now it is gone. It's no longer there because some guys like myself, if I come and try to buy from you or sell to you and um, you pay me less, you take, you deduct 100 naira, I'm just going to sit down there and um, the cash is already in my account, first of all, and I have the right to do anything. It's just that the USDC, which is yours, is frozen. You cannot use it. I cannot use it. And I'm going to be sitting down waiting for a mediator to come in to settle, uh, support to come in and settle the issue. And it's going to delay the transaction and sometimes it can be 22 hours sometimes it can be 24 hours it can be a whole day and then you are locked and you are locked i am still free so because of that those guys have stopped that techniques because you know some guys some of people will catch up with them so on so avoid fraudulent activities because it delays it delays your transaction it delays your transaction it delays uh it reduces your trust it you gives it gives you bad feedback or weak feedback people now give you bad feedback you're not a good person you don't do things very well all right and then avoid fraud don't try to st steal from anybody don't try to cheat anybody then be careful with transactions okay when you're doing transaction be careful with the details of the transaction so that you don't transfer money to somebody else's account and then you pay for the damages okay recently i had to buy something and i paid to somebody else's account and it took me a whole month or more than a month to be able to get that money back from that person to my account. So please, 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 please be very careful with the details. Do not miss any details. When you copy, sometimes it's advisable to copy than to look and type. Sometimes it's advisable to, most of the time, copy it and paste it and get it done. Then um, be patient with mediation and support. Be very conscious about the mediation and support. If Binance is chatting you up, we call them support in Binance, customer support. In airtime, we call them mediators. And if they are chatting you up, always respond on time and be patient with them. Give them their time. Let them relax. Anytime they are sending you a message, you got all the money to trade and continue trading. So keep just make sure you are responding to them and giving them what they want. And don't struggle in a long time in that in a short while it is easier to resolve issues when everybody's communicating well than when everybody's communicating abruptly when everyone is just dropping messages dropping messages nobody's listening nobody's trying to listen to the other party you have a chaos system and you know it's going to be disastrous but when you allow the mediation to do their thing and you're responding when they ask a question you respond and you do all of that in a short while you get the issues resolved. Now be conscious of time while trading. Yeah, be conscious of time. And it's 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 most times you see some kind of persons who will drop ad, and then you drop ad and you're not online for a whole day. It, it's possible, but try to minimize it. You know, 
you drop an ad that you're set you're buying and then you are sleeping you know when you want to sleep switch off the ad and go to rest and so that people don't come in you know cryptocurrency is a very sensitive trade you know after the guy has done his calculation and say okay in the next one hour i should be making profit let me quickly buy to start up and then you put you put down that your transaction ends you two hours and you are not online the guy clicks on buy and then he has to wait for two hours after paying you god damn it and then he loses he loses the the, the trade he wanted to make he's going to definitely give you a feedback for the for the the purpose of love and doing to others what you want others to do to you it is good and better you take people's time seriously when you're going to bed switch off your ads when you're not online and you don't want to attend to customers switch off your ads to avoid mistakes and so when you attended to somebody attend to them very very quickly it's a digital world and people have a lot of things going on in their mind and if they want to deal with you at that particular moment, deal with them with all um, opportunity and privilege and make them honored to haven't met you or deal with you. Okay, and then uh, relate with patience with your partners or peers. Yeah, with your peers. Don't always um, think that they know what to do. Sometimes some of them are new persons. They don't really know what to do. They're just coming in for the first time. They don't know how to... Uh, they don't know how to withdraw. It is also part of your duty as an experienced merchant or a verified merchant to tell them what to do. This is what you are going to do. If they are confused, if they are genuinely confused, you tell them what to do and get the transaction done. And this is how you get transaction done. Now, lastly, have a backup plan. Yes, have a backup plan. This is very important and vital. Just in case you have... Um, you are in a P2P issue and then your Skrill account was closed up. Have an account that can receive all your funds from that Skrill account. That is what I call a backup. Do not just have an account that don't have something that can, you know, receive the money from that account, you know, back to your account. And then read the terms and conditions. I've said that earlier that you should read terms and conditions. Okay. Now, I think I need to go into tricks. Do I need to go into tricks? I go into um, the two platform. All right. Now, we're going to be talking about Binance. Binance is the most popular crypto trading platform in the world right now. Right now. Um, CZ did a beautiful job with that. And today he is no longer the CEO. I think in 2023 he had to resign. So that platform is a very beautiful platform. And one of the things I see about that platform is the fact that um, you have opportunity to do many transactions at the same time. I'm just going to be comparing Ethereum to um, um, Binance. But let me start with Binance. So in creating ads in p2p we have the makers and we have the takers makers are the people who create the ads takers are the people who accept the ad the ads could either be buying or selling now step two one other relevant issue you must understand in binance only verified mentions can make two ads either buy more than two ads more than one ad either buying or selling on a particular currency meaning that if it's a buy you can say you can say i am selling at 1500 naira if i'm going to be selling between 5000 to 7000 naira as an ad you paste it there and then you create another ad so you are buying at 1,600 Naira if I'm going to be buying from 1 million to 6 million or selling from 1 million to 6 million. So you can create multiple ads on the particular, you know, trade compared to the guy who is just an ordinary trader. He can only create one ad on one currency per time. But you can create multiple ads on multiple currencies 
anytime as a verified merchant okay now we have talked about identifications that where you verify matters a lot so it is also good to have a merchant status because there are some limitations that are removed there are some transactions um, for instance you're in nigeria and you trade in euro you are going to have a 24 hours limit on your account if they allow you i don't know if they still permit but when i was there they put a 24 hours limitations before you be able to withdraw that money but right if you were a merchant a verified merchant that won't be the case because one thousand dollars has already been frozen in your account and so they are going to you know it's going that limitation is going to be removed from your account okay then the, the next thing i'm going to talk about in uh, binance is that the refresh time a lot of persons a lot of persons do not know that binance has it has a refresh time and this allows you to see most of the better best transactions on binance if you sit down with the system and you change it from 30 seconds to 5 seconds to 10 seconds or to make it automatically refresh you could get the best deal you can wake up like currently one dollar is selling for 1600 naira in nigeria and you can just see somebody who's ready to sell for 1400 naira yeah because it keeps refreshing and you get the best deal then when you send you receive your usd and you sell something like that i've seen it happen several times using airtime i saw I saw a trade where everybody was selling, I think at, um, was it um, 3%? And this guy came and said $1 to $1. When others were selling, $103 to $1 using BUSD. That was a long time ago. But, and so, it is also good you set your refresh to always refresh on time to get better deal as you wait. Okay? And then... Um, Calculate on time before checking, before starting, so you know what trade to take. Now, these are calculations done. Now, for us in Nigeria, during the weekend, the prices of Naira, of dollar, um, Naira seems to rise, okay, during the weekend on crypto market. For instance, if the weekdays it was 1,600 Naira, during the weekend it's going to be 1,560 Naira. It's going to drop down. So it's going to drop down. So it's a good time to buy during the weekend and sell during the weekdays. Then another time to buy is in the midnight. In the midnight, some persons really just need some money and they are coming out of the market. They are coming out. Midnight, you have good buys. And then in the day, a lot of persons are weak. Many, many transactions are ongoing at that particular time. So midnight is a good time to do some very 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 good transaction and you can increase your price at midnight the reason why i said you can increase your price at midnight is because most persons are asleep and somebody who is frustrated that after clicking on one two three and trying to sell and deal all those persons are asleep may stumble on yours and say come this guy who is selling at this high price should be awake and click on yours and then you know you are available to pay it has happened to me before and i know uh how it works so avoid those stable coins except yes except you are going to be trading within a short period of time maybe 15 seconds uh, 30 minutes don't go and trade on stable coins like bitcoin ethereum um um solana and all of that trade on stable coin like usdt busd usdt all these are stable coins the reason is this you don't know when there's going to be a beer in the market. Yeah, you don't know. Although these guys give you more profits of maybe 1.5%, yes. There's something they talk about. The, we have two tribes in Nigeria. We have the Hamsa and then the Igbo. And then the Igbo guys try to put more money on the try to try to make more profit. And then the Hamsa guy put it on the less profit, you know, and then get multiple customers to buy from them. At the end of the day, he sells more than the other guy and probably makes more than the Igbo guy. So the same thing is applicable here. You can't decide, to, okay, I'm going to go to USDT, where the money is, um, is uh, the profit may not be too much, 
but I know I'm going to have regular customers. I think the customers on USDT are probably times 20 or times 30, even times 100 of what we have on BTC market. Because sometimes you put an ad on BTC, I've tried it before, and nobody clicks the ad for the whole day or two days or three days. In fact, for a whole week, nobody's going to click the ad, sometimes like that. But when you have it on USDT, you're going to receive, you know, people coming in and coming out. So I believe that USDT has a lot more market than all of this unstable coin. And um, now on the arbitrage, let's talk about the arbitrage a little. So um, I found out this video online. Am I done with Binance? yeah yeah so i've said some tips i don't know if i'm going to be touching any tips on binance again but if i'm going to be touching any tips it's going to come out after, after this video so now relevant information about arbitrage some persons you know go online and see a platform people use litecoin for instance for because of the fees and then they move it from one platform to another but i want to say that there's a lot of scam website that put their prices very high. But once your money gets into that wallet, it's not coming out. Now you can watch this video with me. Which is a great result. This bundle has been successfully tested and we made sure that the bundle works stable and as it should. Therefore, our team has prepared this video tutorial for you to explain more about the process of using and earning from this bundle. We recommend using Binance Exchange for this bundle, which in our opinion is in one round, we cannot exchange more than $50,000 and make more than five rounds per day. Well, that's it. And personally, I'm fine with it. Now let's move on to practice. Before that, don't forget to support us with likes and subscriptions, trading pair, and see the Litecoin value of $66.43. Then we go to the Revelby Exchange, also select the spot trading section, and make sure that the price of Litecoin here is higher than on Binance, namely $74.42, which is about 9% of the difference, and so the profit per round. You also have the opportunity to make verification, but in our case, it is optional and optional. Next, we buy Litecoin on the exchange Binance for the amount available to us. In my case, it is $15,000. After successful purchase, we go to the funding wallet section and click withdraw to deposit to Revolby. On the Revolby exchange, go to the profile, click deposit, select Litecoin, copy and paste the address to Binance. Enter the amount you deposited earlier. After successful transfer, we return to Revelbit and go to the spot trading section. Then look for the trading pair Litecoin, UABST. And as we can see, the transferred coins from Binance were successfully credited to our balance. We enter them into the field and record a profit of almost $1,800. Next, go to Binance and click Deposit. We choose the network Trick 20 Copy the address and paste it on Revelby. As we see, the application for withdrawal is approved. Now go to transactions. Well, that's all the application is approved. And in a few minutes, the money successfully arrived to me on Binance. So I guess our bind is over. Check all the numbers carefully before scrolling. Don't forget to support us by liking, subscribing and commenting. It motivates us a lot. So I decided to do a background check on this review by cryptocurrency and all the reviews I got were it's a scam. See the first one flagged as a cryptocurrency scam, flagged as cryptocurrency scam. By the way, why you scroll through the, why I scroll through this? If you're going to be doing arbitrage, the system he placed on that um, on that video is the right system to use, but the platforms are wrong. The intention of this person I still think I think it is to defraud someone of hard-earned money. So Revolt Buy is a scam website. So when you see website where they sell cryptocurrency at a very high price so that you can buy from somewhere and send there and sell, sometimes you have to be very, very careful, especially if the platform is not well known or the exchange is not 
well known so i'm going back to the video now now this is another reason why i suspect it's a scam and which is a scam it had 179 comments at first meaning that he bought most of these comments you see about uh 178 now this 10 days after i saw after i saw this um three days after i saw this video and 10 days since it was uploaded so all these comments were bought they were bought some of the comment does not even relate to what he talked about in the video so there were comments he bought and then all of them were good good comments about the video and then i even think he bought views and bought likes he has about 2.1k likes making everyone coming here thinking this video is genuine and then putting their money and they get lost he's just particularly looking for one person who will drop twenty thousand dollars gosh now what i did on this video i checked what revo buy is i went and i found out and i searched it on the website and i found out that it is a scam is a crypto it is a cryptocurrency scam website you can all see that and then when i saw it's a cryptocurrency uh, scam website i went back to the youtube video to check that youtube video and i saw that it had 179 comments as at when i saw it and i'm recording this video now without showing the video now when i check all the comments all the comments came in a day in a particular day the first comment and the last comment came in a day and after that day there was no comment before there was no comment after meaning that this guy has a plot in mind all he had is that a big guy a guy who has up to sixteen thousand dollars will come and watch this video and decide to do what was so guys so that was what that guy was looking for he was just looking for he was just looking for someone who had a lot of money and was ready to invest into it and then as soon as the money get to the rebel buy wallet my goodness it is gone so checking all the comments checking everything about it it was all a a plot to drag someone in and the person would not would be able to come out okay now we go into airtime let me talk about airtime airtime is also a p2p platform the difference between airtime is that you don't get to create ads you as the merchants or the cashier in airtime you just come in to accept ads so in binance the maker pays and he's he's the merchant in airtime the 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 person requesting pays for the commission and then he's not, he's the maker and the merchant is the taker so but airtime allows you to have to deal with a lot of currencies compared to binance once you are verified you can reach out to as many currencies any currency you want to trade with you can use it to trade but on binance you cannot use any currency you want to trade with on binance so um i think i've talked about airtime the links for registrations will be in this um uh, in the description for both binance for both airtime and yes if you have questions if you have questions if you have things you want to ask please drop your questions drop your questions drop your questions let your questions drop i am readily verily available to answer them i take my time to answer most of my comments most of the comments um, questions and if you would like to you know talk more about crypto you can also check us on instagram at money machine and then we have the the dash then you find us you chat us up and they will be there to respond and if you've learned one or two from this video please like subscribe share with family and friends share with your brothers who are ready to go into the crypto p2p market i hope we're going to have a part two of this video and that uh, take charge see you some other time